I, I, I was taking my sons to, uh, to a climbing place. Can't and in order to get there, we were almost there. But it's a train track that runs across before you get there. And there was a train that was running through the area. So I put the car in park, waited for the train to pass. Just a few seconds went by, and you know, 10-year-old and 8-year-old, being a 10-year-old and 8-year-old, they said, they asked me, said, is the train done yet? Is the train over? And I said, not yet. They went back to watch the tablet for, for a little while. And I guess they were tag teaming because a few more seconds went by, the other son asked, is the train done yet? Looked at the train going by. I gave the same answer. Not yet. And as it repeated over and over, I gave the same answer over and over. And the reason I gave them the same answer over and over is because even though I couldn't see the end, I knew it couldn't last forever. So because I don't know when it, when it will, but I know that it will, my answer kept being, not yet. My brother and sister, that is, the, that is the power of hope and expectancy. When you find your life in the middle of a struggle, if you believe God is still able, when people ask you if it can change, you don't say no, you tell them not yet. Hey, have you gotten through your depression and anxiety yet? Not yet. But I believe God is still able. Have you got a new job yet? Not yet. But I believe God is still able. Do you have enough money to pay your bills? Not yet. But I believe God is working on something. See, when you believe that you got a shall be over your life, y'all not walk with me today. When you believe that you got a shall be over your life, it changes how you handle your right now because you understand that your blessing may not be with you right now, but you understand you got a God that has grace, that has mercy, and that has power, that has the ability to bring you through.